Welcome to Kayak DIY. We're going to be building the best homemade bait pen so that I can keep bait alive in my saltwater canal. Okay, so to get started we need to find a 55 gallon drum. You might already have one, but if you don't, you're going to need to get on Craigslist or in this case I use Facebook Marketplace and I search drum 55 gallon and I get all these search results. They range from about $10 to $20. These are some blue ones. I ended up using a white one. Uh, th these ones are even food grade, which is a nice option. Then there's less chemicals involved. But you're going to need to pick up one of these. The next thing I did is I went to Home Depot to find a clear panel so that I could make a lid for the barrel because I'm going to cut the top out of the barrel and I wanted to have a clear lid so I could look down into the barrel and see how the bait were doing. So here I am just kind of looking at the different panels. That one there was a little bit too small and would only let me make a half lid. I needed one that was going to be large enough to replace the whole entire lid of the barrel. So I'm going to cut the top off the barrel and I'm going to make a lid out of this. So here I am laying the panel on the drum and I'm going to cut it to fit within the rim of the barrel. So now I have the clear lid cut. Now I just need to cut out the top of that barrel so that that way I can set up the hinges and the latch for the lid. So I'm going to end up drilling a hole into the lid so that way I can get my saw blade in there and then I can cut it out with the jigsaw. Okay, the next part of the build is we're going to be drilling two holes in the clear lid and in the barrel. And then we're going to be passing some rope through those holes and tying knots on both ends and that will become our hinge. So here you can see, put the rope through the barrel and through the lid, tie knots on both sides and now you have a hinge. Okay, so we use rope for hinges and we drilled this hole and we're going to be using bungee for the latch to hold the lid down tight. So drill a hole, tie a knot on the inside and this bungee has a little hook on it and we're just clipping it onto a pad eye that we attach to the barrel. Pretty simple in design. So now we need to drill a bunch of holes in the barrel. I chose a one half inch drill bit because the bait I'm going to be putting in here is not going to be any smaller than a half inch. And let's skip to when it's done. Okay, so right here is a look at it. We got our clear lid. I've been using this thing for a while. As you can see, it's a little bit dirty, but it's holding up well. We got our bungee. Basically just got a hole here. Ran a bungee to a little hook. We got a pad eye here. can lift up. Oh look it, we got a fish there in there. I was keeping that guy for uh, shark fishing later on. There you have it. Let's kind of look at it. We're using rope as hinges. So I've just got a knot on each end. Pretty simple design. Just zip tied noodles through the holes and let's get this poor little guy in back in the water and it's going to self right itself
since it fills up with water. And there you go.